Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry for help, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear people of God, for us to celebrate in a world where this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that, unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. And wisdom is a spirit, intelligent, holy, unique, manifold, subtle, agile, clear, unstained, certain, not baneful, loving the good, keen, unhampered, beneficent, kindly, firm, secure, tranquil, all-powerful, all-seeing, and pervading all spirits, though they be intelligent, pure, and very subtle. For wisdom is mobile beyond all motion, and she penetrates and pervades all things by reason of her purity. For she is an aura of the might of God, and a pure effusion of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, naught that is sullied enters into her, for she is the refugence of eternal light, the spotless mirror of the power of God, the image of his goodness. And she, who is one, can do all things and renews everything while herself perduring and passing into holy souls from age to age, she produces friends of God and prophets. For there is naught God loves, be it not one who dwells with wisdom. For she is fairer than the sun and surpasses every constellation of the stars. Compared to light, she takes precedence for that indeed night supplants, but wickedness prevails not over wisdom. Indeed, she reaches from end to end mightily and governs all things well. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your word is forever, O Lord. Your word is forever, Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word is forever, O Lord. Through all generations, your truth endures. You have established the earth, and it stands firm. Your word is forever, O Lord. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. Your word is forever, O Lord. The revelation of your words sheds light giving understanding to the simple. Your word is forever, O Lord. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Your word is forever, O Lord. Let my soul live to praise you and may your ordinances help me. Your word is forever.
Alleluia, alleluia. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, the, kingdom of, the coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce. Look here, it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is. Or look, here he is. Do not go off. Do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good, and all the time. When you read the book of 1 Kings chapter 3, we realize that when it pleased God to bless Solomon, he asked him what he wanted. And Solomon asked for nothing but wisdom. And we are told that, that by him asking for nothing than wisdom, he gained everything. He asked for one thing, and by that one thing, which is wisdom, he had everything. And he had everything because When you are to read the Old Testament, for instance, you realize that the revelation of God did not just happen. It took time, and God revealed himself gradually, gradually, to humanity, which gained its apex in Christ in the New Testament. So, for instance, when the Old Testament is talking about the Word of God, it uses so many analogies, images, and one of the common images it uses is wisdom. Often also, it portrays wisdom as a woman, as we see in the first reading, but all to say that wisdom is fruitful, wisdom is tender. And so in the first reading, for instance, we hear about 21 attributes of wisdom. Wisdom is intelligent, it is holy, it is unique, it is manifold, it is subtle, it is agile, it is clear, unstained, sudden, not painful, love and the good, keen, unhampered, beneficent, kindly, firm, secure, tranquil, all powerful and what have you. It goes on to mention about 21 attributes of wisdom. And last Sunday, I said that there is a difference between gaining knowledge, which is having facts at hand, and also wisdom. Wisdom is knowing what to do with the facts you have. It is about how and when 
you use the knowledge acquired. And that is the simple message of today. But we are told in the Psalms, it makes us aware that the revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. And that is one basic attribute of knowledge. When revelation came into its apex in Christ, we appreciated and biblical scholars understand that wisdom is Christ and all fullness of it is found in Christ. Which is to say, to have Christ is to have everything. So for Solomon, for instance, to ask for wisdom is to have asked for all the revelation of God, which was Christ. And by that, he became one of the successful rulers and kings of the Jews. What are you asking for? And what do you ask for from God? Most of the time when we pray, we ask for so, so many things that often we do not even need. And even if we need, we do not even know when and how to use that. We pray that in this Holy Mass, we may appreciate the wholeness of wisdom, as the Book of Wisdom makes us understand, and also to understand that it is all about Christ. Having him, we got everything. And we got Christ only on our knees. So we pray to God that he may help us to appreciate wisdom, which is his son, revealed in him. So that we may be able to know when and how to use the facts of life, the facts of our faith, so that we wouldn't be so much preoccupied as to when he will come but we will be always ready whenever he comes to meet us. God bless us. Friends of God, through the gifts of wisdom, we pray that the baptized may invite all people to accept the divine invitation to friendship, and that the Lady Wisdom may make of God's people holy souls and prophets. Let us pray to the Lord. And that the shining beauty of God's wisdom may melt hardened hearts. And that God's wisdom may renew those who are come by illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord be our that we may find in the sun, moon, and stars the reflection of God's glory, and that the dead may behold the eternal light of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord be in the silence of our hearts, let us put our various intentions before God. God of beauty, in every age, your spirit of wisdom passes into holy souls, joining them to you, to you in friendship. Extend your hand to us as well, that we may be counted among those who live with wisdom and so enjoy your loving favor. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. 
fruits of the earth and work of human hands, that it may become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of divine and work of human hands, that it may become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear people of God, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial victims, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with love and devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Savior of the world, provide your cross and resurrection. Yes. Yes. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope and Mario, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us while we pray. Thus, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and in him and with him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on us as it is in heaven. Give us this day our Lord. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, so that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her the peace and unity in accordance with your will. Your whole heaven reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those whose heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless and keep you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go forth and spread the gospel. Saint Michael the Archangel.